Hello everyone, this is Andrew Cutts from acgsspatial.co.uk freelancing in GIS and remote sensing. Today I want to talk about geofencing and simulating a seismic survey. I'm here in QGIS and I've written a, a little Python script that has a, a function about a stopwatch, a create point function and a point in polygon function and I'm going to set it running and talk about it. So this program is going to run for 70 seconds, I'm going to plot a point, a seismic shot, every 10 seconds. It's going to check every 10 seconds whether that point falls within this geofence, this red boundary, which I've defined in my code here as a polygon. It will tell me that the shot's been taken and whether that shot has fallen within that geofence using the simple point and polygon function. I've taken three shots now and they're incrementing every 12 and a half meters from south to the north. This is useful because you can see whereabouts your seismic survey is going to go, you can see how many shots will fall within that boundary, and you can work out how long they're going to be within that boundary. And then you can dump a log out after you've uh, run the simulation, or you can have a log as you go. So maybe it would start when you entered the boundary, the geofence, and stop when you left. You could also use it as a check to say it's fallen within the boundary, we need to go around or we need to offset around this point until we get to this point. This example is just a, a random location in, in West Sussex to highlight the idea of geofencing. I'm going to put the link to my LinkedIn blog that describes geofencing in its context. And I'm also going to dump the link to the code that I've used here are on the github page. I just want to credit these sources here where I borrowed the methods and adapted uh, and they will also be in the documentation. So feel free to investigate this code and I'll happily answer whatever questions you have. Thank you very much.